one of last year's biggest producers, is getting ready to repeat his rewards for the new growing season. That's right, strawberries, one of the earliest crops to break its winter dormancy. Tough, resilient, low maintenance but prolific, there's not much we have to do with our strawberries, but what we do do, we do right now. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we actually do a lot with what little time we have. And today's episode is all about those strawberries. More specifically, three spring tasks to get the most out of your patch this year. Hey, time short as it always is, so let's dive in. Hey, these spring strawberry tips are designed for those of you with existing patches, at least from the last year. If you're just getting your patch together for the coming season, check out this guide here for everything you need to know about planting strawberries. Like we said, strawberry plants are built for the frigid weather. They're a cool climate powerhouse that needs a dormant period to reset itself every year. As such, if you're growing strawberries, you likely live in an area that gets a true winter. Now, for those of you with extreme and severe winters, you most likely buried your strawberry plants under a thick layer of mulch. So, the first thing we need to do is to remove all of that winter mulch that's covering our strawberry plants. This can be done before your last spring frost date, but if you're still hitting those extreme negatives, hold off until the weather is a little bit warmer. At or just below freezing is ideal. With that mulch layer removed, you're now at the same point as the rest of us. Continuing with that cleanup, old foliage can also be cut down and removed at this time. The goal of this step is to make sure that our strawberry crowns are still exposed. They can easily get buried over winter and a smothered strawberry plant will never be successful. Next up is weeding because strawberries absolutely hate competition. Right now is literally the easiest time to weed our strawberry beds and containers with minimal disturbance. And once all those weeds are gone, we can reapply another layer of mulch, taking care not to bury the crowns. And lastly, for our third and final spring strawberry tip, right now is a great time to give the plants a boost. That's right, I'm talking fertilizing, but only certain kinds of strawberries actually get fed in the spring. June bearing types need not apply here, as they should have been fertilized in the late summer, early fall, after their last harvest. This means that only your ever-bearing and day-neutral types of strawberries get fed in the early spring. Go balanced if you can, or skew slightly higher in phosphorus and potassium, which are the last two numbers on the fertilizer label. There you go. Three easy things that you can do in the spring for your strawberries that are going to have a big effect later on. Know what else is going to have a big effect later on? Checking out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, make sure to subscribe and click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.